Okay, we have here the um, HP All-in-One. Um, I don't recall what was in this. Let's get the model number in a second. I'll, this is I took this off. I'll tell you why in a minute. Or maybe it'll be in the title of the video. Huh? Huh, bro? All right. Where's the make? All right. <clears throat> All right, so this is a this is a, a twenty C zero thirteen W. Um, go ahead and steal my serial numbers, bro. Um, this was, of course, I have this all upside down. So whatever, dude, it's your deal. Twenty C zero thirteen W. These were on clearance at Walmart for. Um, 150, 158, something like that. This is the Snow White version. And then there was, um, some blue version. I don't remember what it was. It seems kind of slow so far. Um, but I think that's mainly because the first couple runs, Windows updates is going nuts and killing it. Just killing it. And then there's, um, I think McAfee's installed here on it by default. And McAfee is going crazy too. McAfee's the biggest junk antivirus ever. So I went and I instantly got rid of uh, McAfee and I put Avast on there. Since Avast doesn't hog your CPU, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my deal is this only came with four gigs. So I went on Crucial to see what kind of memory goes in there. And Crucial claims it only has one slot. So I bought a 4 gig off eBay. Um, I'll show you that in a second. And to open this up, that's what I'm about to show you. To open this up, you got to take this off, which is two screws. Take this off. And then, um, shoot, uh, where's this? I'm going to suddenly flip this. Who cares? Flip your monitor. And then there's one other screw to take off down that hole. Down that hole. There's no screw in there right now, but down that hole. See the black loop? That black loop is this. Sorry. Is this. Not this loop. Not that one. The one down deeper. Down deep in that hole. You see the screw hole down in there? Let's see. Are you see that? Let's see it shining now. That's the black loop. That's that's this piece up here. So that screw has to come out, and that's it. And then the way I got this cover off is I took this and I started up on the top here. I started on top here, and um, what I did is I pried. I put this in here very gently and pried this way and it popped. And then I went all the way around and got that side and I did the same thing on the other side. Click, 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 click. And I'll show you the, the clickers. They're right there. I mean, it's th those white ones there. So you're, you're basically prying like that, I believe. Very gentle. Don't go hard. You don't have to. And then in a second, I'll show you the bottom, what the bottom looks like. Um, when you come to the when you come to the bottom see those tabs that tab that tab those are the inner tabs so all right i'm gonna flip this around again so when you come to the bottom what you do is you pry up like this pry up like that very gentle and those tabs will release and since you have this that one see that that thing go in and out there since you have that screw out this 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 right here since you have to screw out, this tab will let go. If you don't take that screw out, then this whole bottom will be stuck in place. All right, so when you get all these tabs undone, you want to open it from this edge out. Because as you'll see, all the cables are up to the top. So let's get that. <clears throat> as you'll see, all the cables are right there. So you want to go easy. Sorry. All the cables are right there. And then Crucial told me there was only one memory card slot. But there's one sitting right here. So 
So I want to see what happens when I put the eight in there with the four. This is a four. Uh, there's your CD-ROM, of course. So I'm going to throw an eight in here and see what happens in the bias. <clears throat> Crucial isn't always right. Because <clears throat> they're going by what the factory spec was. But, you know, people like HP and Dell, they don't want to tell you what the factory specs are. Because, you know, I mean, this probably is not, well, it does say HP on the motherboard. The, the funny thing is, is like I've always said all along for the past couple of years, why do desktop use large motherboards anymore when you could just use a laptop motherboard with a smaller CPU that's less, less heat? And that's what this actually has in it. This is a laptop motherboard, basically. And these are so dims. This is gonna be, all right, I wanted to show you the, so anyway, this is a PCL, a PC3L 12800S. Um, I assume this is gonna work. 2R X18, X8. Um, Crucial was saying some crack about it needed X16. 64, I mean, but I believe this is a 2X8, a 1RX8. One, one All right. I think that's for, um, yeah, that should be fine. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. I'm not going to turn this on while I'm videotaping, I don't think. All right, so I'm going to put this in here, back in there. And then I'm going to throw the 8 gig in here. And those of you who worry about stack and all that, this is not the 80s, this is not the 70s. You don't need to worry about static anymore. You haven't had to worry about static electricity burning out components for 20 plus years now. It's it, it, it's just stupid, it's just stupid. Look, 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 look. Look, I have a shag carpet, shag carpet. Look at, look at me, look at me. Look how my electricity did that. Look at, my hands all over this. So according to them, this thing will not work anymore. All right? Static electricity is stupid. All right? Oh, wow, this has got a full-size hard drive? Wow, that is so stupid. Maybe that's why this thing is slow. Whoa. Who does that? You have a, you have a laptop thing, and then you got a full-size hard drive in this thing. Wow. Wow. I'm going to take that out and take a look at that. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> That's probably all the weight of this thing right there. Damn. All right, I'm taking that out. I'm stopping the video. All right, starting the video again. All right, so this is a 7200, so this isn't slowing it down, but that's a lot of power. That, that, that hard drive is probably half the weight of this machine. <laughs> Except for the screen. This screen is heavy, but on this side... That that's this hard drive is the most of the weight over here. I have no clue why they used a full size hard drive. That is just stupid. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, people are stealing my serial number, calling my phone. Oh, 2017, baby. All right then. Okay, for those interested, underneath that fan shroud is absolutely nothing. So the CPU is actually under this thing here. And I would call that soldered on. And that sucks balls. For real. I hate new computers like this. Of course, your Wi-Fi card is right there. I don't know why it's only one antenna. Nice. Web camera attachment. I wonder what those jumpers do. There's so many. I bet it says it right there and I just can't read it. Can you read what that says? My hand won't stop moving. Parkinson, Parkinson, Parkinson. I gotta go and reach my other hand over and try to hold the camera. I don't know. I'll look at the video later. It says something. A oh, clear CMOS I see on one. I don't know, whatever. Web camera attachment. I don't know 
why they had to write that all the way across and leave a big gap right there. Webcam era. Okay. So anyway, that's the fun with that. And to get this off was those three screws. There's one there, there, and there. Whoop a doodle doodle do. Man, I wonder what attaches it there. Does it say anything? Let's see what this thing actually is for. It is a memory slot. It probably just that bit disabled on the bias because they're like that. I'm sure you could enable it. Anyway. Alright, here you go. Oh god. No clue why there's a full size hard drive in here. That's just insane. Alright. Alright, so this is booting up. Um that front memory slot that I showed you, the machine will not turn on when anything plugged into that. So I put the 8 gig into uh, that front right slot. Um, so I guess the bias, something in the bias is telling it to ignore that other slot, memory slot. Doesn't matter, 8 gigs is more than enough for Windows. 4 gigs is way too low, way too low. You need at least 6 to do anything with Windows. So eight should be more than enough. This is booting up, I don't know. Um, and now I hear that hard drive. I don't know if I noticed it before. But yeah, that hard drive is loud. I don't know why they would have done that. Shh. Laptop drive, why would you bother with it? I think full size drives cost more than a, a laptop. If you went to a WD Blue, Two and a half. It's probably cheaper than that piece of junk that's in there. Damn. Wow. Oh. Before you couldn't. You wouldn't get a response from this thing for a while. Why is Task Manager open? I don't think I put that. I mean, it was open last time I had it open. Oh, maybe I did a Windows update. I'm going to shut down. So, anyway. Yeah. Well, I showed you a picture of the memory I put in there. And then Hynix. Yeah, it's going to be this. The Hynix PC3 1200, 12, uh, 12, 12, Um, I didn't get the faster stuff. I don't really care. This machine is too slow for that to matter, I believe. Because um, it has the... The Celeron or something in there. Oh, you know, I didn't even check to see if the CPU was soldered to that board, but I'm going to guess it is. So anyway, you can get this stuff cheap on eBay. Just match DDR3-1600. It's going to be a so dim PC3-12800. Don't get server memory. Don't get stuff that's got uh, the AMD crap. Um, any, other, any of that other junk. Uh, make sure it's not... I mean, it's it's got to be this. I'm buffered. I'm buffered so damn. Non ECC, of course. Let's see what if you see what's killing it. HP support, that crap could be removed. You don't need that crap. HP active health, you don't need that crap. Let's see. Where's Google Chrome? See how long that takes to open. If I even did click it. Eight gigs, baby. That's the answer. That's taking a little bit to open. What do we got going over here? Stupid Cortana. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just take it. Just take it, baby. Uh, oh, this is loading. Oh, we don't need that crap. Hard drive is grinding crazy. 
Do you hear it? I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I have to adjust this to the 8 gigs and then the next reboot. So anyway, that was upgrading this to 8 gigs. Um, uh, where's the stupid model number? That thing right there. You're all, you're all going to have to turn your monitors upside down because I don't really care if you have to tilt your heads. I'm not going to correct this video. Not my problem, baby. So anyway, this is the Snow White 20... C013W at Walmart. Of course, you're not going to find them anymore because they upgraded all to the 7th gen uh, and 8th gen processors. Um, and other people are going around and grabbing them and snagging them all. So anyway, this is an all-in-one PC. A general piece of junk, but if you don't need to really do much, just, just browse. Play some, you know, online games and stuff probably works just fine of course it's not going to be heavy graphics because of course you're using the intel cpu's gpu on its on a chip so that's going to be holding you back anyway that's that uh what i get that eight gig for probably 30 bucks or something stupid like that so there you go and this isn't touchscreen which kind of sucks kind of sucks kind of sucks it's not touchscreen all right, all done, bro. Hey, huh? Should we end it by passing out? Ah, ah, I'm going down. Ah, ah, ah.